today we're going to take you through contrast training or complex training. We're utilizing this phenomenon called post activation potentiation. This is where we have a maximal voluntary contraction through either isometric or heavy lift. And then we have a period of rest, and this has different physiological responses that can help improve explosive performance. This little graph here, we've got black line in potentiation and the blue line in fatigue. And this is the point where we do the maximum heavy lift. And over time, PAP response and the fatigue response reduces. And what we want to find is this middle area here where potentiation response overmass the fatiguing response. And when that happens, this is a prime time to then do our explosive movement. The factors affecting this is strength levels, uh, the percentage 1RM that you use on the heavy lift, the amount of reps that we do, creating more fatigue, and what is the post exercise. So what is the explosive exercise that we use? The two types that we use is contrast and complex training. The difference between the two is that contrast training, we do all the sets at once of the heavy lift. So for example, we're using trap bar deadlift here. We we'll do three to four sets of three repetitions. We then rest for four minutes, and then we do our three sets of loaded jumps. Complex training is where we do a single set of the heavy lift, rest for four minutes, then proceed with a loaded jump after that, just a single set, and then we go back. So this is the workout today. Uh, due to the trap bar deadlifts being quite fatiguing, we're gonna go for contrast on that. So we're gonna do three sets of three reps, rest for four minutes, and then going to dumbbell loaded counter movement jump. On upper body pressing, it's not as fatiguing, so we can do uh, complex training with this. So we're gonna do a rack bench press to uh, optimize concentric force, and not really challenge the eccentric, so we're not creating that fatigue. Rest for two minutes, and then we're gonna do the med ball chest pass. Then we're going to do a, a trap bar a split stance squat, and we're pulling the trap bar as hard as we can, isometric contraction. We're going to do uh, three second holds on this, three reps each side, and then we're going to go straight into some plyo box air drives, uh, to try and improve reactive strength of the lower body. Again, another complex set to finish off on the core, maximum pull off holds, going into med ball rotational throws. If you've got any questions about any of the exercises that we're using, please find them in the comment box below.